crispy. Hey, what's good, Vera? Today I've got the Marvel Legends Infinite Series Vision. And if you've seen the movie, you kind of know what he's about. A little bit different in the comics. He has some really cool powers. He's definitely a really powerful uh, Marvel hero. He's married to the Scarlet Witch, just for a little bit of backstory. And he is half robot, half man kind of looking thing. Uh, other than that, let's open it up. Here's a quick look at Vision. He's got really nice paint apps. I'm not really seeing a lot of mistakes. Hasbro has been stepping up their game for sure. I can tell. Not a lot of shading in the cape, but that's okay. I mean, you can't really complain too much about this stuff. I mean, at least his face isn't all messed up. He's got all whited out pupils. That looks really good. Um, we might see some paint mishaps here throughout. And while we're looking, the cape is really well sculpted. That looks crazy cool. It's a little bit less yellow than what the light is giving off here in the photo camera. I can see how it's actually a little bit darker yellow. You can see it now. Um, but that's a really, really cool cape. It stays on his back well because it's actually around his neck a little bit and there's a peg hole in the back. So I had a lot of problems with past Marvel Legends with these capes just popping right off. But this one's definitely stuck on there really well. But that's just a pretty, really cool, really, really cool uh, cape right there he's got. You can get some uh, basic arm articulation here and mold. His fingers look a little wanky. You can see that a little bit. Let's see if I can get it as it goes around. I do like the new hand sculpt, but his fingers came out a little bit wanky. The other one's just a fist. Paint looks a little bit, bit weird on his abs. That didn't come out too well. Doesn't look horrible, but it could have been better. And then we get some basic leg articulation and mold down here. Nothing too much to brag about. He's got a really menacing face sculpt on him. Not quite as peaceful as the movie made him look out to be. He was bad at first in the comics and stuff. I know that for... I'm almost certain on that. And then he later becomes good. But in the movie, he was just good at first. Uh, we'll go straight into articulation. The cape doesn't really artic doesn't really hinder any of the articulation on the arms. Just want to show that real quick. And then his head will go down that far. It'll go up that high. So good range of motion there in the neck. And of course, it does the exorcist. Uh, upper, upper uh, what do you call this, bicep swivel. And again, he's got like the ratchet joints. I've been getting that a lot in my uh, shoulders here at these Marvel Legends. Double jointed elbows, a little bit of a twist, and we got the hinge on the wrist. We'll take off the cape real quick, show you how it's around his neck right here. And then there's a peg hole in the back. It's where the cape plugs in. It plugs in really well, it's kind of at an angle there. He's got really good ab crunch going on here. Can't go back too far, which is surprising, but he can go forward pretty good. We've got a waist swivel here. It's got a weird clicking sound to it. I'm not sure what that is, really. Hmm. It doesn't feel loose, but it kind of like clicks into position. I wonder if that's something new they're trying out. Legs will kick up that high. They don't kick back very far at all. Upper thigh swivel. Double jointed knee. And then we got a calf swivel here, which is kind of weird looking. Uh, then we got the hinge on the ankle, and then the uh, rocker. So overall, this figure came out looking really good. I'm really actually impressed with it. I like the shiny green paint on it, along with the dark green. It molds, it fleshes really well. They go together good, along with the red. The only spot it really looks weird in the paint apps is right here, and the abs, kind of weird. Not too bad. You can just tell that they kind of glopped on the paint there a little bit. But other than that, we get some pretty basic articulation, and it works really well. So yeah, I'm definitely going to recommend this figure. Check out Big Bad Toy Store for the rest of this wave. Uh, I'm definitely going to be keep on reviewing the rest of this, so stay tuned. And then at the end, of course, we'll have the Hulkbuster. I really appreciate you watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, have a good day, and peace out.